Hey everybody, I'm Jack Stoudemire with Rustic Knives. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration how I uh, press, put my Maker's Mark uh, stamp into my knife blanks. So I'm going to start off right now with the press that I made. Uh, they sell presses out there for you know a couple hundred dollars, three, four hundred dollars for some of this stuff. I made this for about forty bucks. Me and my buddy uh, Arnold Dew made this. We was just went down to the scrap yard, got some uh, eight inch square tubing. It's about a half inch thick, and some great big old C channel. Use a plasma cutter, cut it up, welded it together after he milled it square, and uh, cut some windows in the sides of it, and a big door in the front where we could get a twelve ton bottle jack in it. So we. Uh, Drilled a hole in the top of it where you get a, a bolt down there to hold our stamps. And then uh, what we did is I get my stamps and we make a collet for it. We bore these out and they're all different sizes to fit the stamp itself. And then we drill and tap a hole in the bottom. And that will hang from the, uh, the ceiling of the uh, press and is held in place with this bolt. So this is what it looks like from the inside. So we got the bottle jack right there and then up top you can see how the stamp and the collet is held to the ceiling of the press. Alright, now my stamps I get from Durable Technologies or Visamark, which is their subsidiary company for them. Uh, they do a really, really great job, great personal service. Uh, call them, talk to them all the time. We come up with new ideas, new designs, and they're quick. I get my stamps in about a week, something like that, once we go ahead and, and I said, yep, that's what I want, do it. And prices are very, very com uh, competitive. A great bunch of guys call them. Uh, just recently, they sent me a new stamp that says Warrior Hands on it. Now, they donated the, this stamp to me. And this is for my charity, Warrior Hands, that I support, that we help train disabled combat veterans. We teach them a new vocation. I personally teach them knife making. There's other guys out there that teach other stuff. So these vets can go home and start their own small business to provide for themselves and their families and get back in the game. So I'll press some um, scrap steel and stuff like that, leftovers I have for making knives. I'll stamp it with this, make charms and sell them. And then I'll also I'll make knives and stamp this in the blade and then auction these off on my website to raise money for the charity. So again, thank you, Durable. Uh, all right, talk about how we do this. This is the process. Now, before this is a soft blank, it's not been heat treated, but it has been profiled and pre-ground prior to heat. So I go ahead and it has some reference lines I put on here with a Sharpie. I set it on top of my bottle jack. First I want to talk about the jack. Jack just sets in here loosely, but what we did was we took it over to the surface grinder and we ground the top of this off. This is the actual piston part that comes up out of the jack. When you buy this, it has a waffle pattern in it, and you don't want that on there because that will get impressed up into your knife blank, and that will be ugly. So we surface that smooth. It's also parallel, it's square to the bottom of the jack. So everything remains square within the press. So I'll line that back up underneath the stamp. I grab my blank with the reference lines, put it under the stamp, line everything up. Looks good. And then I press the knife blank up into the stamp. Now I can see daylight from the bottom of the corner of the stamp to the blank. As my RK is getting pressed in there, that daylight disappears. And when it's gone, I know that I've reached the proper depth. Push down the knife. And then I have a perfect RK stamped into my blade. I don't know if you can see that. Is it? Now, the reason I use stamps to put my maker's mark in there is just like in the gun industry, uh, I want them to be forever. You don't see serial numbers and stuff like that laser engraved on a gun barrel. Everything is stamped in there. It's permanent. So I still may get some stuff engraved on my knives, either by etching or laser engraving, which my buddy Darren from TCT Knives does for me. But my maker's mark will always be stamped in there. It's permanent. It's forever. You can't blast it off. You can't do anything to it. So that's why I do that. Now, the RK, I want to talk about another vet buddy of mine, uh, how we came up with this, was uh, I was looking for a design to, uh, to play off that RK from Rustic Knives, and uh, everything I was doing, my wife said, looked like an RX on a pill bottle. So uh, I found a guy named Drew Toth at Juggernaut Graphics, and I gave him the mission, hey, figure this out, make me something awesome for my t-shirts, and that's what he came up with. His blade font, he reversed the R, put it on with a K, it looks freaking awesome, I'm trademarking it. He's the bomb. So that's where I got that RK, and I'm going to put it in all my knives now. 
So again, if you need any types of t-shirts, graphics, get a hold of Drew at Juggernaut Graphic. He's awesome. So that's about it on the press. That's how we do things here. Stay tuned. I'll be making more videos on uh, the process of making knives and everything we do here in the shop. So thanks.